Hello. Hello. Hello, world. <laughs> we are going to talk today about the five P's to have a lucrative garage sale. It's all about making the money <laughs> if you're going to take the time and put it out there. Neither of these um, P's are in chronological order or a specific order. There's no importance to one or the other. They all um, play a pivotal role in your yard sale. So equally, they are all the same um, value to what you bring to your yard sale. So the first one we're going to say is preparation. It's very important to take time before garage sale day to get your signs ready, to get extra cash so that you have change to give back to your customers, um, getting all your items ready and not taking out them out the day of the garage sale, but having them ready in a space to just be taken out first thing in the morning. Wow. Um, sometimes what we like to try to do is sometimes stage tables before the yard sale even comes, put like items on it and um, kind of just know what you are intending to get rid of. Next will be presentation. It is very important to have your garage sale to look like a store. Mm -hmm. When you go shopping, you expect to find all the freezer items on one side of the store. Correct. You don't go to the produce aisle to find your frozen fruits. You go to the freezer section. So you want all your decorating home decor items in one space. You want all your furniture in one space, all your tools and manly stuff in one space, all your clothes in one space. But, but you also want those clothes segregated um, by size and men and women's and kids. It's very important if someone is looking at your table and they are trying to pick things out, they will miss the item that they are trying to find because it's in the mix of all the items they aren't looking for. Mm -hmm. But if they're coming to look for a flathead screwdriver and you have all the tools in one section, that flathead screwdriver will stick out and be purchased. The next one on the list is publicity. And what I mean by publicity is I mean um, like advertising, getting the word out. Um, sometimes we like to take um, time days before and set up uh, a post or whatnot and then post it the day of, schedule it the day of. But nevertheless, be intentional about your advertising as well because advertising goes a long way for a yard sale. And now it might not seem like a big deal because it's just a yard sale, but I've seen a huge turnout just on how you go about presenting your yard sale and getting the word spread. A few signs throughout your neighborhood might help, but if you post it in your local um, newspaper or if you have a Facebook page and you'd like to share it with your friends there, Craigslist, there's plenty of um, avenues on the internet itself that help communicate and it's there, so you might as well use it to your advantage to communicate what it is you want people to come to. Nobody will come to it if they don't know it's there. Definitely, you want as much people to come as possible because that is more chances for a purchase to be made. Also, I'd like to touch on the advertising as well as far as signs. I'm a big stickler about the signs. I, um, I personally believe that the placement of the sign is uh, usually very important as well in a high traffic area, something that makes sense. Um, arrows help a lot. Make it very simple. Arrows, um, the bigger the sign, the better. Whatever you can afford, um, colorful, very colorful. Make it stand out. Don't let it blend into the rest of the road and things around it. And you know, you, it doesn't have to be expensive. No. It can be cardboard boxes from your local store cut up and made colorful with markers and stuck in the ground with some piece of wood. Yes. It doesn't have to be the $9 yard sale um, signs from the hardware store. It can be something simple, just something that catches your eye. With, yep. They want, and with the social media posts and using the internet, 
Sometimes it definitely helps you out if you take a moment to take a picture of the yes. yard sale once it's up and then post it on that social media avenue. <clears throat> So that way people can know I'm going to this yard sale today because I want to buy this. And even if that item isn't there, once they get there, they're more likely to take a look at the other items at your yard sale. It's just about getting people to pricing, 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 pricing. pricing. It's all about the money for the yard sale. There's plenty of reasons to have a yard sale. Sometimes you literally need the money. Sometimes you just want to get rid of the stuff in your house, whatever that may be. Um, most people have their own opinions on pricing. Our personal opinion is we let the customer set the price. It basically makes the haggling process a little bit easier. Sometimes it cuts that completely out. Letting them set the price also gives them the perspective of they're in control of the sale and that also helps the sale um, conclude instead of them asking how much it is and then being disappointed because they're at a yard sale and it's overpriced. Nevertheless, what you gotta remember is the price that you set on the item that you're technically getting rid of sets the tone of if you're actually going to get rid of it or not because if it's five dollars and i only want to pay a dollar then it's not going to leave the yard and if there are big ticket items that you are not willing to part with for a smaller price take the time to individually post those items on craigslist facebook marketplace or any other social avenue that there is because people will pay better prices for the bigger items, but not at a garage sale if they've right. just walked up to it. And one of the key things to remember about pricing is every dollar that you get paid for an item is time that you don't have to spend loading it in your vehicle and taking it somewhere to donate it. They are paying you so that you don't have to do more work. Yes. So although you might want that $5, a dollar sounds good when you don't have to do anything after that. So keep that in mind. It's all about giving, getting rid of it. You already gave it away in your heart. Yep. Don't get stuck one dollar. Think about the bigger picture, about all the dollars that will be spent because you gave this one item away for one. Now that person has four more dollars to spend and four more items that you'll get taken off of your garage so that you won't have to do with. And then the last point we would like to make to have a purpose. Yes. What is your purpose for this yard sale? People like to be connected. They like to feel like they are part of your story. So if you're having a garage sale to fix up your bathroom, tell people about that have a donation jar that explains what you are here doing why you are trying to make this money people people care about other people but they have to know what they're caring about yes. and so if you have a purpose to your garage sale say that someone's sick in your family and you need to pay doctor bills explain that to people let them in to your story so that they can be a part of it and they'll want to be a part of it majority of them another thing that you can do is with children um they love to help share that purpose um one thing we do with our children is have a little lemonade stand um with uh chips and water and we let them strictly handle that 100 percent and they tell their purpose of what they're trying to raise their money for their lemonade stand is and people love that and so it's very lucrative to have a purpose of why you are trying to raise this money or get this money yeah a lot of times people will come to a yard sale simply on the notion of well it's just their junk and they're getting rid of it there's also moving sales. You know, a lot of times people ask, why well, are you moving? And um, that's a perfect icebreaker to, even yes. for our um, purpose, to say, yes, we are moving and we're gonna pack up and get in a trailer and travel the country. 
And um, so once they hear something like that, it's like, wow, I can be a part of that and I can, you know, buy something from them, walk away with a tangible item, also with the peace of mind of knowing that I've contributed to this person's journey. And so it, she's right. Um, being a part of the purpose really helps people connect and that's what ultimately helps the sales thrive because everyone feels a part of it now. So those are our five P's. I hope you feel pumped up and ready to do a garage sale. Don't forget your preparation, pricing, presentation, purpose, and publicity. I have a hard time saying that one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up as it helps our YouTube channel. And if you would like to see more videos, subscribe down below. Take care for now. See you next time. See you guys. I like that. But we have a lavender. This is here. Yeah. <laughs>